how many of you know what is QR code? Yes? Okay, say yes. My, now we are going to be teachers. And every, right now you can see so many teachers around you. Okay? So you won't believe. Means I have been with the Goa team for last two years. Teachers here have got an opportunity to have a YouTube session. The student also get an opportunity to host a YouTube session. That is watched by thousands of the students all around the world. Okay, so we have ma'am as well. Last time uh, ma'am uh, was working with me and I was one of, uh, I can say, one of the person who was working with them in their sessions. Okay, so you have to groom yourself in that way. So this is an amazing opportunity. Okay, so yeah, say it loud.
and this is also you can say you can know that this is not only that we reach to the website because this is a misconception you already know that's really great but people think you are code to my site pe leke jayega okay so shall i everyone has scanned this okay now coming to what are the types of qr code so basically we have we have two types that is one is static and dynamic okay so thoda sa galat ho gaya anyway one is static and second is dynamic the static qr codes are like <coughs> what i just shared with you it will help you to download something or it will take to you particular place but the data inside is not going to change while the dynamic qr code will contain a dashboard as well as the editable links so what happens is the qr code remains same but the information inside it can be changed so we have two types of qr codes this is one of the amazing use case even i uh, i saw i was astonished that it can be used in various different ways so basically first of all qr code was uh, you can say developed for assembling some parts okay so it was a model from ford or something i don't remember but yeah but they did develop that because they wanted to assemble something but later on it becomes hype for marketing but here if you will see have you ever thought that you can put a uh, qr code in your resume which will lead you to the gallery which like right now we are going to have the photos here right so i can put the qr code in my resume anyone would like to see photo video just scan and this is i think from my i this is new i haven't seen any resume with the qr code so this is one of uh, the like ways we are trying to use the qr code so basically it's providing the smartphone users with the information quickly simply and is what makes a qr code in a mobile marketing go hand by hand so if you remember in morning says the mention that empathy right that how exactly the upi went high why because now the qr codes and the phone that is very easy to be scanned and you are already having them. you don't have to carry the credit card debit card with you so this is how the marketing works now this is again a qr code so this is a qr code for my linkedin profile so if you want to connect with me please you can scan and connect with me okay yeah this is if you want you can connect okay so i'll keep it for just 30 seconds so this is like a static one basically why is it static because even i cannot basically change the link inside it okay so this is going to be static shall i move ahead <coughs> now when it came into the existence this is also very important you know because when we are working on the present we should know little about history so it was developed in 1994 by demo wave the divi division from the denso corporation so you can see the qr code was developed for expressing development concept for focus on uh, place on high speed reading so basically uh, the company name is denso wave they are noted for creating the two dimensional qr code and a member of japan robot association okay so how it is created so this is a part actually this is not how it is created this is how it works by mistake i written how it is created how it works is something which you have to do up and down okay so we would be coming back tomorrow we are not going okay we are going to make an activity every now but this is your homework that you have to search in internet and it is available let me tell you very clearly you have to search what i am expecting is you should come with the information that is even good for me and new for me right i am a teacher i am not a like i know everything so where what i am looking is if you i talk about this scanner code so what i want is what type of information are stored in that particular big square what type of information are uh, stored in these linkages and what particular information is stored in Small square. You would be able to find this information on internet. I want you to all research on it. Okay. So now, without wasting your time, let's 
make an activity of QR code scanner in PictoBlock. Going down. Any doubt? Clear this up? Okay.
Is it working for all now? Everyone?